How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Conservative Fitness and today's video. I'm going to give you guys five important and very easy to follow tips to make sure you stay healthy around the holiday season. It's that time of year again. Your friends, family members, co-workers, they're all hosting events and having these amazing tasting dishes and food options at these parties, but we'll make sure we're not overindulging and that we're still staying healthy during this season. So I'm gonna give you guys five really important tips that are gonna make a huge difference and make sure you stay on track during the holidays. All right, so getting right into it. The first one is a very simple one to follow and that is make sure you do not starve yourself before you go out to the party. When we know that during lunchtime or during dinner time we're gonna to go to a party, we tend to skip the meal before it, thinking, oh, it's gonna be a bunch of tasty food options, I can't wait, I'm gonna save all my room for there. But what's gonna cause you to do is be a little more hungry than you normally would, and when you see all these tasty, delicious food options, you're gonna overfill your plate and you're gonna eat way more than you actually need to, rather than if you were to just go ahead and have your normal uh, lunch meal, your normal dinner meal, and then go to the party, and now you're not as hungry and you're gonna eat smaller amounts of portions. Make sure you're eating like normal up to the event and you're gonna eat much less when you get there. Now for tip number two, go and get a workout in an hour or two before the party. Whether you go to the gym, you go for a run, or you just go outside and play with your kids, burning a few extra calories and allow you a little more room to enjoy all these tasty options. Tip number three is a very important one that people tend to skip all year round, and that is make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the entire day. I'm a fitness instructor, so many times I talk to people and say, hey, how much have you eaten today or how much water have you drink today? Typically, we don't have a problem eating. Everyone eats a lot throughout their whole entire day, but I ask them how much water they've had, and it's maybe like 5, 6, or 7 p.m., and they said I've had a glass or two. Not only does water have a lot of health benefits to it, but if you're not drinking enough throughout the day, it is going to cause you to feel more hungry more often. So to combat this, make sure you drink plenty of water throughout your whole entire day. Have a glass of water maybe every other hour. Carry a big reusable plastic bottle and fill that throughout your day and take sips as you're constantly working, going around, doing errands, and things like that. Making sure you're getting enough water is going to help suppress your hunger, keeping you from overindulging, not just at the party, but all year round with all your meals. All right, now tip number four. We want to make sure we are stuffing our plates with as many veggies as possible. Veggies are very high in nutrients and very low in calories. So we want to make sure this is the main thing that we put on our plate when we're starting out. So as soon as you grab your empty plate and you're getting ready to fill up with whatever options are around, make sure you start with all the greens. You start with beets, carrots, tomatoes, all these veggies first. Then from there, fill up with meat portions. And then whatever room you have left, you can start putting in the more carb heavy, the more high calorie stuff like mashed potatoes, bread, macaroni and cheese. Your brain will still think that it's getting a lot of volume, it's still getting a lot of food, but it's not getting as many unhealthy options. All right, last but not least, tip number five, a very important one, especially for me, is to making sure that you keep your dessert portions to a minimum. I personally have a very strong sweet tooth. When it comes to desserts, I get super excited. It doesn't matter how full I am, I'm gonna cut myself a huge triangular slice of cake or pie or whatever's around, and I'm gonna have all of it no matter what. Almost all dessert options are incredibly high in fat and sugar and that's going to cause you to really blow up and gain a lot of weight the next day when you jump on that scale and you have a heart attack. So make sure, have a very big plate with lots of veggies on it and still maybe you know some unhealthy options here and there like the macaroni and cheese and different things like that. But then, once it comes to you getting your dessert, keep it to a very small portion, enjoy it slowly, take you know, slow bites, and then if you still feel like you want more, have another small slice. But don't be like me and cut a huge portion and then hate yourself the next day. All right, guys, those are my five important tips. Make sure you stay healthy around the holiday season. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for plenty more, and we'll see you guys next time.